So here I've constructed an alkene. This is just ethene. And it's got a double bond between the two carbons and it's got four hydrogens. And I want to look at how this reacts with a halogen. So if I make ethene and then I add chlorine gas to it, a reaction will occur. Okay. And these are very easy reactions to see, uh, especially if you use something like bromine or iodine, because the bromine has an orange color and the iodine has a black or purple color. And so you can see that color disappear as the reaction progresses. Um, but, but what do we think actually happens with this? So let's, let's change this chlorine to its structural formula here. Okay. And what you should know about double bonds and triple bonds in organic chemistry is that they're sites of electrons. There's a lot of electron density here. And so something else uh, that wants electrons, an electrophile, is going to react with that. Now, chlorine is very electronegative, so that might, that might seem counterintuitive, but what's going to happen here is that these electrons are going to come and they're going to form a bond with that chlorine atom, but then these electrons are going to go to that chlorine atom and become an ion. And so, so what's going to happen there is I'm going to kind of break one of these bonds, but what I'm going to do in its place is kind of form a, a, a triangular ring with that chlorine atom, and it's going to be an ion, so there's going to be a positive charge with that. And then the chloride ion over here. And so we actually have the chlorine bonded to both carbon atoms, and that's, that's a very temporary state. There's a lot of strain because of bonds. There's a lot of repulsion here between those electrons. And, and so very quickly what will happen is, is the chloride will come around from the other end and form a bond from this side. Okay, and that should be one of those things where you sit there and you wonder, well, how do you know that's what's happening? Obviously you can't see chemicals react um, little by little, but what happens is, is when this chlorine bonds to the top part, we can tell, sorry, I guess I should be using it like this. When the chlorine, the first chlorine comes in here, what that does, so if we break this apart, that starts to push the hydrogens down, but when the second one comes in and bonds, that's going to give us um, a way to check it in 3D for some of these molecules. Now, ethane itself is not going to work for that, uh, because at the end we're not going to have a, a four different things attached to the carbon. But if I did, then I could look at which sides the chlorines are coming from, and what we find is, is that the one chlorine always comes from one side, and the other chlorine always comes from the other. And so that, that gives us a hint that this is the mechanism that's occurring. If the chlorine here were just on one of these carbons, then the other one would be able to access the other carbon from either side. And maybe this one would be preferential, but we would see a split, where we see some of each stereochemistry, and we don't see that. Okay, so instead what we see is that this chloride ion is going to come into either one of these and, and that bond is going to lengthen on the one that, that this is coming into. So let's, let's redraw this and let's say that this chloride ion is going to come in here. What you're going to see happen then is this is going to start to shift where it's closer to here than it is to there. And then as this bond forms, this one will break. And I'll end up with a chlorine here and Oh, what else I have? And then I will also have a chlorine here. So again, for the ethane, that's not as clear because we can't track that in the same way we could if we had something different. But if I took an asymmetrical alkene where I have some carbon groups attached to one of these instead of just a hydrogen, then I could go ahead and I can look and I can actually track the optical rotation of light that occurs from the chiral centers and I could use that to figure out what I'm making. And, and what we'll find is that this is the correct mechanism, at least so far what we know, that's, that's going on that during that process of an alkene reacting with the halogen.